Do y'all see my face? It's a face of sadness, despair. I'm so frustrated, you guys. I spent, okay, today is Thursday, the 5th of December. I um actually started, let's see, on the 3rd, me and my daughter went out for a couple of hours, went to different, a couple of different places. We went and found a Christmas tree. Had to figure out and ask someone to tie it to the car because now a lot of places don't do that. Get it home, pouring rain, had to carry it in myself. My boyfriend is like, he works at night, so he's not here when I need stuff done. Um, I'm so mad. That's why I'm talking like this. Yesterday, last night, I, sp oh, so I sprayed it myself. Fresh Christmas tree. I don't like to get away from my tree. He's going to be a dead cat. <sighs> He's the reason why I'm kind of mad. My cat. Okay, so I sprayed it white myself. I didn't want to pay. Last year, I paid $143 for a Christmas tree to be flocked. I just said, I'm going to buy some snow and flock it myself. So, bought the snow, flocked it myself. Let that dry. Last night, I took over three hours, almost four hours decorating it. Plus, all the time I spent spraying it. Plus, the struggle I had finding one and getting it home. Excuse my hair. I don't even care. I got to get this out while I'm feeling it. <sighs> so, I decorated my tree. I'm going to insert a picture of how my tree looked right here. Yeah. Yeah. My tree was so pretty. The pictures really don't do it any justice. It was the prettiest tree I've ever decorated. You guys, I was up tonight making my new lip glosses for this Christmas season, this holiday season. I have two exclusive colors coming out tomorrow morning. I'm going to drop them. But as I'm sitting at the table making and getting everything done, my whole, guess who's under the tree? Let me slow down. Ike, the cat, is under the tree, messing with my tree. The whole tree flip. The whole tree fell the fuck over. I'm going to try to insert another picture right there. If I don't, they'll be at the end. Okay. So, I picked the tree up. Well, you know what? I left the tree down for a little bit. I picked the tree back up after I was done with my lip gloss stuff. I left it down because I was in shock. Everything flew off the tree, you guys. Everything that I spent my hard time and effort putting on this tree it was so nice i was so happy all that shit went flying the fuck across my living room excuse my language but i can't believe this shit mind you no one ever helps me decorate the tree my daughter stopped doing helping me like years ago she's 15 so i just do it by myself i decorated while she was asleep last night so she would wake up and see it <sighs> y'all I just want to leave the tree like it is. I just keep looking at it. I can't fucking believe this. I'm glad I didn't start my vlog vlogmas next year, but this year, uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm. I'm having a hard time even getting my um Christmas stuff up. I keep messing with my hair because it looks. Y'all know I don't ever even wear my natural hair, but. I didn't wear it today. I had it in a bun, but I took it out so I could feel relaxed. There ain't no relaxing going on. So I picked everything up and, um, no, I picked the tree up. It fell over like two or three more times. So I'm like, okay, now it's off balance because it fell. So I had to get to the bottom. Mind you, I had to buy another stand this year because the stand that I usually use has just the one, uh, spike. 
at the bottom. So you need a hole at the bottom of your tree, but this tree, oh, someone's at the door. That's the dryer. This tree doesn't have it. So I bought a $10 stand from Lowe's where I got my tree from. So since it fell, or maybe it was a little off balance before, but all I know is my cat, he likes to drink the Christmas tree water every year. The only year he didn't was the year I used a fake tree because I was um, away for work. So I couldn't be home to monitor and watch a tree. So I bought a fake tree. Other than that, he drinks the water from the tree. So his ass was under there bothering like where you put the water and stuff, drinking it. And um, I'm going to spray some vinegar because had cats hate vinegar. I'm going to spray some vinegar on the bottom so his ass stay away. But yeah, um... He was, I knew as soon as that damn tree fell, I was like, how could the tree farm over here at the table working? Mind you, I've been out all day. I took my daughter to school. I went to Compton. I stayed there all day. Came back in two hours of traffic. Picked up my daughter. Went to my friend's house to pay my condolences to her grandfather, y'all. And went, we went and got a, um, Another shrimp boil, seafood boil with just the shrimp potatoes and um corn. That's all we really be wanting. So anyway, we um did that. So I was already tired. I said, let me do the right thing and put my work ethic first. It's my Sunday, even though it's Thursday, I go back to work tomorrow. So I said, let me get this out the way because I want to drop these colors for the weekend. For the holiday, you got to get them out if it's only a color you're doing for the month of December. So I said, let me get these two colors done. Man, he only was out here because I'm out here. He follows me everywhere. He's under there messing with the tree. I didn't know, but I seen him come out slowly as the tree fell. His ass probably was scared. He's a scaredy cat, literally. No cat. No cat. So, y'all, I can't believe this. I'm just venting to you guys. Do you see my cries? <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so look. The tree is... This is the back of the tree. I turned it around. I'm a reef. Okay, let me start here. There's my star and my flower. They go at the top of the tree. Here are... Excuse the mess. I'm trying to get stuff out of the way for the holidays. Here are all my ornaments that fell off. Did I see? Everything fell off almost. This is what's left on the tree. Like, a few things. The front doesn't have anything. And then the few glass bulbs that I had, most of them broke once they hit the floor. All this was just a mess. A mess. And I was getting ready to put this stuff back in the storage because I don't have it. You know, that's what all the Christmas stuff goes in. I can't put nothing nowhere. Not It knocked down my uh, Marion Bright. Marion is hanging right there and Bright is on the couch. The mistletoe is the only thing still hanging right up here. I'm frustrated, y'all. I really don't want to do this again. I'm probably going to. This is nice, though. Ooh. That's all my wrapping stuff to wrap my gifts. Well, anyways, this is going to take me forever. It took me forever to get it up, and I was so happy. But, you guys, I had to get back under here. You see how it is? I had to get back under here and retighten it, realign the tree. Like, I need my man home with me because this is too much. But he was on FaceTime with me when it happened, and he was like, oh, my God. This is, I heard the tree fall. That's so sad. You I said, I took three hours, and he was on FaceTime with me while I was doing it, while he was, you know, out. And he was like, you took longer than three hours. It was almost four. So that's sad, you guys. But I got to go to work all weekend. But I, you know what? I feel like not even going to work to get my tree done. And that's how serious it is to me. I'm so behind in everything. But I, y'all, I'm discouraged. Look who we have here. The culprit. What do you have to say for yourself, Ike? You don't give a damn. Hello, uh, yeah, I'm uh, talking to you. Why did you do that? You have, he got water over there, y'all. 
you got fancy water and food bowl and you want to drink the Christmas tree water, first of all, you're going to get sick. Second of all, if you guys didn't know, put two teaspoons of sugar in your Christmas tree water to keep it alive. You don't need to be drinking sugar water anyways. Oh, you're on punishment, bucko. Yeah, y'all. I'm pissed. Oh, let me show y'all something, though. Hold on. They're in the water. You know, you got to do your lip gloss bath but this is the color that I made it's called Santa baby you can't see it because it's dark in this kitchen but um it's like uh it's like it's a red pigment it's it actually shows a little slight red on your lips which it's like a glitter and then um I should have showed you on the wand tube I'm sorry there the wand tube it's so pretty and then I got, uh, this one is called Snowflake. I'll show you guys better, um, another day. This ain't even what that's about. I just wanted to show you that I was being productive. So I don't know whose karma just hit me tonight. I did everything for everybody else today. <sighs> I'm sad, y'all. Anyways, I'll keep you posted on how far I get with this tree. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, toodles. Okay, you guys. First of all, do you see my pretty plant that baby bought me? He did good. It's really big. I don't know if you can catch how big it is, but it's big. But I do want to show you guys that I finally got the tree back up after... Uh. Almost a week. Yeah, so I think I got it up the night before last. Yeah, it took me some days because I was just so over the tree falling. But I think it looked better the first time. My daughter thinks it looks better this time. I literally just threw it up in an hour. I didn't take four hours again. You know, so look at the culprit. Look at him. Get your ass away from my tree. Anyways, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, venting session. Please like, subscribe, ring my bell, comment, something, please. You know, this was a very learning lesson for me. Watch your cats. Make sure you secure your tree. Get, get away. Get away. So the house is... Finally starting to look. You see, merry and bright. I got that back up. Merry and bright. And then my mistletoe is behind it. I know that's a weird place for the mistletoe because no one could get under it. But I don't have a place to put it. So, anyways, that's what we have um, this year, 2019. A learning experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm out. I'll I'm the streets voice out west Legendary self-made progress Last time that I checked First you get the money, the respect And the power in the hoes coming